Welcome back champs. In today's video, we're gonna be doing an Amazon FBA tutorial showing you how to find a product you can sell on Amazon to start making profit for your Amazon FBA business. A lot of people get caught up in the product research part of their Amazon FBA business. When they're just starting out, finding the perfect product is hard to do for a lot of people to get started. And the thing is, is that there's never really a perfect product, okay? So we're gonna talk about some of the criteria that I teach my students, what to look for, what to find, and some things to watch out for. I'm also gonna show you two different ways to do product research today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jimmy Mahalik. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on new videos where I'm showing people how to grow their Amazon FBA business step-by-step -step from start to finish. Let's jump over to the computer and we're gonna do some product research right now and I'm gonna show you some of the products that I just found. that are pretty cool products that you could sell. Okay, so we're at the Jungle Scout web app and this is Jungle Scout's product research database. Uh, this is one of the cheapest ways to do product research to start. Uh, if you need to do just product research, Jungle Scout is a really efficient way, but yet uh, not too expensive. I have a discount link for you down below in the description if you don't have Jungle Scout or the Jungle Scout Chrome app. So today we're going to go through some of the criteria of what I teach my students on what to look for for product research. So first of all, when we're here in the Jungle Scout product database, looking for products, I suggest you start off with just one category to start with. So in this case, let's do home and kitchen. So over here, we're gonna talk about um, product tier sizing. Generally for new sellers, I don't recommend you do oversized because it's much more expensive to ship your product from China to the US and also to you know, the Amazon FBA fees are a lot more expensive. So for now, we're gonna start with standard. For seller, we're gonna select FBA. So we wanna look for products that are being sold just by other FBA sellers. For minimum price, generally the lowest I ever recommend you go to is about $15. Um, because, you know, with the Amazon fees and the cost of your product, Anything below $15 is really hard to be profitable. I think the sweet spot is around the $25 mark where you're selling your product for $25. $25 is the current free shipping amount for people who don't have Amazon Prime and that's, I don't know, maybe like half of Amazon buyers. There's over 100 million people with Amazon Prime, but there's also a lot of people that don't have Amazon Prime. So if they order a product for $25, they get free shipping. If you're at $24, they don't get free shipping, they gotta pay several dollars free shipping and they might just skip on your product or they also may have to add another product to their cart and they may put it in their cart or just forget about it and not end up buying your product, okay? Also, I teach my students, I recommend you have somewhere around $10 profit minimum per sale, okay? Because the thing is, is if you're down as low as like $5 profit per sale, that sounds good, it still, it still can make you money, but you don't have enough money to advertise, okay? So if PPC, if on average you're, you know, when you're advertising your product through Amazon pay per click, uh, PPC can cost a dollar per click on average. Sometimes it's lower, sometimes it's higher, but that's a good average amount. And if you only have a $5 profit per unit to sell, to work with, then after five clicks, you've already used up all your profit. And five clicks is really not a lot when you're advertising your product to get a sale every five clicks, especially when you're starting off new and you have low reviews. So that's why I recommend it to be more towards the $10 profit per unit. So without advertising costs, if you sold a thousand products, you would make $10,000 in profit. And that is possible once you're up and you're on page one you know, a lot of those sales are organic and you're just getting full price sales and that's where you can make a lot of money. So in this case, for this search today, we're gonna do a minimum price search of $25. For the maximum price, we're gonna go anywhere up to, let's just say uh, $70, okay? Generally, I recommend you put oddball numbers in here, you know, so you're not finding the same products that other people find, okay? And I'm gonna show you a little bit later on how to sort that a little bit differently so you'll find products that other people won't, okay? So for minimum reviews, I'm gonna just put one here, and for maximum reviews, let's just say we wanna look for um, really 
products that are not super competitive. So let's just go with maximum reviews of like 40 here, okay? A lot of this stuff that you can fill in, but I don't fill in every single one of these for every single search I do. So the other thing we're gonna add in here is we're gonna do the minimum revenue. And generally I recommend that the minimum revenue be at least $5,000 per month because after your Amazon FBA fees and your advertising and paying for your product, I recommend you wanna get at least $1,000 a month profit, if not more. So generally for your sales, you need something that's at least $5,000 a month. So in this case, we're gonna put in, let's put in 6,300. And for the max revenue, let's put in, say 27,000. And we're gonna click search here on the web app and it's going to bring up our products. And as you can see here, it brought up 1,366 products. So what you can do to kind of, you know, sort that a little bit differently so other people aren't seeing it is just pick one of these categories up here and let's sort it by revenue to start off so that we're seeing it in a slightly different category. So we're seeing the products that are making $27,000 $27, a month to start with and then we're going to scroll down from there, okay? So let's just look through these products and we'll see if we find anything interesting. Now, blackout curtain panels, I know that these are hard to find really good ones because my wife was just looking for these a couple months ago for our baby's room to try to make it as dark as possible when it's nighttime. So I'm definitely gonna look at those and see what those are like. So let's see what else we got here. 30 pack of rustic mini chalkboard signs. We'll check that one out, but a 30 pack seems like it would be expensive. Two plates waffle maker. That could be interesting. We'll check that one out. Here's another bedroom blackout curtains making $24,000 a month. And I think um, they have seven reviews. So we're gonna check that one out too. So let's just look at these real quick. So we got blackout curtains here and we got blackout curtains here. So you can see they have five reviews here. Okay, so you can see on this product, that's very interesting that it's like that two-tone color. That's super interesting. I like this picture a lot because it shows how it blacks out. This is a great picture that you would wanna have for your type of product. It actually shows the product in use. So the problem, like, when you look at these pictures, people are like, well, how does that black out? Like, it doesn't describe the product, but this product, or this picture, is a really good picture because it really shows it in use and, like, how it blacks it out. That's a really good, that picture alone is really helping their sales a lot. So you notice they only have five reviews and they're selling it for $50. So that's a really interesting product. Let's look at this other blackout curtain. And so this one is currently unavailable. And also like, I don't feel like a lot of people would wanna buy this pattern of a curtain. Cause man, that thing would just look hideous in, <laughs> in your house, wouldn't it? But the, the, what's interesting is that, you know, the blackout curtain is, is what we're interesting. So bedroom blackout curtain. So let's just find that and type that into Amazon. Okay, so when I run the Jungle Scout extension on the search bedroom blackout curtains, the problem is, is look at the reviews. These, these, all these products have over a thousand reviews, okay? So the revenue is great. I mean, these products are making 200,000 or $300,000, $150,000 per month, okay? but. The reviews is crazy. So to be able to rank for this type of product, you would need a thousand reviews just to rank for this type of product. So that's gonna be way too competitive. So we're gonna move on to the next product. So the next product that we have here is a 30 pack of rustic mini chalkboard signs. Now, why would somebody need a 30 pack? So we'll have to look into this. Okay, so I ran the Jungle Scout Chrome extension on this product, the mini chalkboard signs, and you can see the revenue, it shows the revenue here per variation. So they have a variation of a 10 pack, a 20 pack, and a 30 pack. And really the revenue looks really good here. And they only have five reviews on the main product. They have different variations showing different amount of reviews. So you can see they have 77 reviews here and 16 reviews here. So, I mean, 
it looks like a pretty good product. So they're selling for $33.95 for the 30 pack. And for the 20 pack, they're selling it for $22.95 and $11.95 for the 10 pack. So that's an interesting product. So what you would need to do next is you would need to go over Alibaba and check and see how much the prices are for something like this. Okay, so I'm on Alibaba. I just did a quick search for mini chalkboard signs. And as you can see, just the first result alone, they're going for 15 to 19 cents per chalkboard with a stand. So at 19 cents, 10 of them would be $1.90, which would make a pretty good profit. So three of them would be say $6. And if we go back here, you'll see that they're selling 30 of them for $33.95. So there's a pretty good profit margin there. So that looks like the type of product that you can sell where you can have a good profit margin, buy it for pretty cheap, and also potentially rank with a low amount of reviews would be a good starter product that could get you up and get you to start making profit. So the next type of product research method we're gonna talk about here with Jungle Scout is the niche hunter. And this is a unique method that they have so we're gonna do the same type of thing. So we're gonna type in home and garden here. And then over here, you can see that they have a bunch of different filters that you can play with. And you can just put some, some different information here. So average units sold. We're gonna just go somewhere in the middle here. That's good. For a competition, you can see that it's on a high score. So the higher the competition score the more competitive it is so we're going to go somewhere like in the middle and we're going to look for listings that aren't too competitive for average price we're going to do the same type of thing we're going to look for let's just say between 27 and 80 dollars same thing here for at listing quality score the higher the score the higher the listing quality score. So we're gonna look for listing quality scores that are on the lower end. And for opportunity score, the higher the score, the better the opportunity. So we're gonna go and look for something that's between say a five and a 10. And for word count, we'll just leave it there. So we're gonna go ahead and click search. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna find you several different niches in the category you selected that it's like a keyword, okay? A keyword that you can rank for. So in this case, there's 350,000 results found just for the criteria that I put in. So you could narrow that down even more and potentially try to find um, you know, some different products because there's so many, it's only showing the, the first 200 here. So let's just look through these and see if we find anything that looks like a good product that you could sell. So as you're looking through these, there's so many different unique ideas that you can then go and look at. Like here, flannel sheets, black. Like that could be a totally good niche to look at or even just flannel sheets. You could go look at the flannel sheets and see that that could be a potentially a pretty good category to look at. And I mean, there's so many of them here. You can just spend a bunch of time looking through here and just finding all sorts of different, you know, cool things to potentially sell. So that is what the niche hunter does. So you can take a lot of time and look through here and find a whole bunch of different products all within an hour or so that you could potentially sell on Amazon. So I'm going to announce the next free phone call giveaway down right here. This is the next winner right there. If you wanna be entered into the next free phone call giveaway where you can have a 15 minute free phone call with me, just make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon and leave a comment down below and you'll be entered into the next giveaway. Also, I'm gonna drop some links down below for you for discount links for Jungle Scout our free Amazon FBA Facebook group. Make sure you join that where there's daily discussions in there about Amazon FBA if you're not in there already. Again, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on new videos coming out about how to build your Amazon FBA business. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments and I will see you in the next video.